What's up guys, it's your boy Saint. Today we're gonna go over how to make a melodic type sample in the style of Don Tolliver, Gunna, or Lil Baby right now. All right, so this sample is actually only one, two, three, four, five sounds with a little B section, which we'll go over towards the end. I'm gonna break down every sound one at a time with the effects go through the full chain. Let's get right into it. So the first sound we have is from Analog Lab. It's called Beauty Harp, and it sounds like this. I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this instrument, erase the MIDI, create a brand new chord progression with a similar style so you can kind of get the workflow. What I'm thinking about when I'm trying to make a melody like this. So I usually just start off on a minor, right there, and I'm gonna drag this out all the way to here for the first measure. We're gonna put these up one octave, which is just option shifts and then up arrow. And then what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna drag these over and then pull this one over here. If you want it to be kind of faster and have more of that movement, we're gonna go ahead and chop it right here. So we'll just delete that. And then we're just gonna take this and then repeat it four times. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take all of this, repeat it, and then you can either go up five or you can go down five. Both sound good. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and go up five for this one. Now this is kind of too high for my liking. I'm going to go ahead and take everything, option shift, down arrow. We're going to go down an octave. Then from there, I'm gonna go in and I'm going to kind of just create like a top line melody, try and figure out something that sounds cool and just keep it really repetitive. Literally just can be as simple as that. Now the effects that we have here are RC20. This is my Saint go-to vinyl preset. You can literally just steal this from me right here off the screen if you'd like. This is basically just my take on the startup preset that they usually have, just dialed back a little bit for more of like a modern sample making, loop making type of workflow. Then we've got Kilo Hearts Chorus plugin. Then we have a channel EQ, taking out some of the harsh frequencies around the 1K and then taking out some of the lows. Here it is with all the effects. All right, so the next sound is literally just a one-shot bell from the 44th Floor's one-shot pack. It's his Circles one-shot pack under one-shots, bell, and then we have the impaired bell right here. And so the one-shot with no EQ on, which is the only effect I do have on, the one-shot just by itself sounds like this. All right, nice little tail end with that like tape kind of hiss. And then all I did was roll off the lows at 200 Hertz to get rid of the low end. Literally just copied the uh, MIDI over and put it down an octave. Cool, together. All right, this next one, I actually grabbed a flute from Arcade. The line is the Passport line, Mystic, Merak. And then one thing I did is a little plate. These are the exact settings. So 2.79 seconds, 97.5% on the dry wet, low cut 178 Hertz, and then the mod turned on. All right, moving on to the next sound. This is another bell from the same exact one shot kit from the 44th floor. Here's what the bell sounds like by itself. Just another tape type bell. And then from there, we went ahead and threw on my go-to Saint Vinyl uh, ROM, the reverb, which is the factory preset, creative, and then Valentine backwards. Channel EQ to take out some of the harshness. Now the notes that I actually picked are B, E, A sharp, 
D sharp. Now what you're not seeing in this is the actual automation that I did. So I did a pitch bend right here in the middle, bending the note halfway all the way down to this minus 64, comes back up, it stays the same, no pitch bend on the second note. And then on the third note, again, the same automation. It sounds like this. And then the final sound is this sub from the OPXAV. It's a clay pickup bass preset. And then what I did is I turned off all the vibrato settings, turned the attack up a little bit, and then went ahead and turned down the detune, turned on the stereo spread, and then turned that up a little bit. And this is what it sounds like. Super, super basic. All right, so this B section is actually pretty straightforward. So halftime, first and foremost, the way I use it is I like to set the effects. Uh, this knob usually starts off like up here somewhere and I like to set it all the way down to that uh, 500 milliseconds on the effects side to the left. And then I'll actually take this band and let some of the lows pass through or sometimes I'll let some of the highs pass through unaltered by the halftime. So here's what it sounds like. And then the only other difference here is that I've reintroduced the sub bass and then the Celeste tape bell an octave lower here at the end. That's it for today's sample. Thank you guys so much for stopping by the channel. Check out my free sample pack I just dropped with my boy Kid Capone. We have a ton of one shots, a ton of textures, a ton of effect rack and RC20 presets, a whole entire Mellotron bank. It's crazy that we're giving it out for free. People have been loving it. Thank you guys for the love over on Instagram. Follow me over there if you haven't already. Thank you so much. Peace out, God bless, and I'll see you in the next one.